You want to support Roller Martin Unfiltered? Be sure to join our Bring the Funk fan club. Every dollar that you give to us supports our daily digital show. There's only one daily digital show out here that keeps it black and keep it real. as Roller Martin Unfiltered by going to RollerMartinUnfiltered.com. You can make this possible. Folks, let's go to this next video. A black man was moving at night into the house he bought in Kansas, about 30 miles west of Kansas City, Kansas. And then this happened. Police department. Go and set the TV down, man. Set that TV down. I just bought this house. You just bought this house and you're moving yeah. in at 4 in the morning? I'm moving in. All right, go and set that TV down. All right. Set it down. Can you give me set it down. You got your paperwork, man? Yeah. Hold on. Is there anybody else here? No, I'm not. Okay, go and stay over there. I got backup coming. We're going to talk to you in just a minute, all right? You had guns, knives, or anything like that? No. When did you buy the house? Last month. All right. Here's what I want you to do. I want you to go over there by that, by the side of this, this house here. I'm gonna just, uh, I'm gonna put your hands up on the side of the house for me, okay? I'm gonna come over and check you for weapons. Okay. You ain't got anything on you, do you? Just my wallet, my keys, and stuff. Okay. <laughs> Okay, go and place your hand on top of your head for me. <coughs> okay, these are just going on until we get figured out, okay? Do you have anything with your name saying this is your place? I sure do. You do? Okay. Yes, sir. All right, once the other officers get here, we're going to start looking at it, okay? All right. Is this all necessary here? Yeah, because uh, given the circumstances, you're moving in at three three o'clock in the morning right now, man. This and we've been having a lot of break-ins in the right area. Okay. You said you bought the house. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Do you have paperwork for that? It's in there. It's inside. It's in the kitchen. Okay. Okay. Go and take a seat right there for me, okay? Uh, yeah, everything is good, yeah, man. Good. Do you understand? Okay. Do you understand why we did, why why I did that? I, I understand it's not comfortable, but given that we had all those break-ins and whatnot recently, when you see somebody moving out here. Yeah, 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 here in Tonganoxie. Yeah. Here just last weekend we had a whole bunch. Oh, great. Um, <laughs> right when I'm just, no, that, that's, that's real comforting to know. So, as long as you I, keep your... I, apologize, I apologize, but, uh, I you know, understand. If, I you, just... if you look at the situation, I think, I think, uh, you know, you, you, you get it. Well, I anyways, keep your car locked and all that, and you won't be a victim of a burglary and all that. The Kansas chapter of the American Civil Liberties Union said the man, Carl Robinson, a 61-year-old Marine veteran, was harassed for weeks and blocked by the police chief uh, from filing a racial bias complaint with the department. Okay, so here's what I'm trying to understand here. Um, and uh, this is the issue with me here. Something similar happened to me in Austin, Texas, uh, when I had recently moved there and I was helping a friend move into her apartment all these cops showed up. The man was moving stuff into the house, mm -hmm. which, which we, same thing happened to me. We literally were moving stuff, and the, it was it probably thing when we did it was probably around midnight. And the same thing, like, why are you doing it at night? Uh, because we we're busy in the day. He was moving stuff into the house, but to cuff him, mm -hmm. to detain him. I mean, you can see proof, but why put handcuffs on a guy? Well, I mean, I think this is a very clear one. When you buy a house, you have a, a ton of paperwork, right? So anybody could have said, go in the house and retrieve it, or I'll accompany you in the home and retrieve this paperwork. But as you said, he's moving stuff in, not taking stuff out. Um, he has an identification. He's not resisting. Putting him, I mean, he even says, is this necessary? Putting him in restraints for no other reason than to wait for other officers. I mean, what is he supposed to say at the end of this, right? Yeah, it's no problem because you're surrounded by three people with guns and you're in the in your front yard in the middle of the night and that's not even protection from these kinds of incursions on one's uh, safety and privacy. Well, you're, I mean... Teresa, he said, quote, Teresa and Andre, he said, quote, I like to see those cops and that chief lose their jobs because this was mm -hmm. uncalled for. This is strictly racial profiling. At its finest. So, I mean, well, one, you know, at the end of the dialogue, I, I thought it was interesting that the cops said, 
Um, you know, we had a bunch of burglaries in the area. Um, meanwhile, the, the man is wearing all white with a white <laughs> uh, sports cap. Um, and then when they told him to sit in the truck, the, the truck obviously looked like a U-Haul, um, lit it as well um, as he's moving stuff out. So um, the excuses obviously was something just to cover themselves knowing that they had a body camera and then they ended off with giving them tip, giving him tips on how to put safeguard yourself and your belongings in your home after, you know, uh, the police just violated your rights and, and your civil liberties. So I think moreover, um, this situation was, yes, like, like many others that we do. So I think one of the cops, when they said, you understand why we did this, right? The African-American man was, yeah, I get it. I'm in America. Um, and so, uh, you know, I think what, what he's uh, now suing for, I think he's rightfully so, and the ACLU uh, will definitely have his back. You know, the, the other problem is that the police force is clearly protecting white people. Mm -hmm. You are presumed guilty um, if you are not mm -hmm. welcome in a community. And so the, the encroachment upon the police, and I don't care what time it is, if it's, it's 3 in the morning, 4 in the morning, if that's your property, you have a right to, to be all over it. Um, and so for, for the police to come into a person's home, essentially, on their property, is a clear indication that they are protecting white people all right, folks, back to that whole Mark Unfiltered video in just one moment. All right, folks, calling all HBCU alumni, students, and leaders. Enter the Ford Motor Company HBCU Mobility Challenge and win $25,000 for your school. Building on the long-term support of HBCUs, Ford is looking to improve mobility in HBCU communities through innovative solutions. The winning program will receive a grant of up to $25,000 to implement the proposal. The deadline to apply is March 31st, 2019. Go to fgb.life for more information and to apply. And remember, Ford goes further in our community. We thank them for being uh, a part of partners here at Roland Martin Unfiltered. Now back to your Roland Martin Unfiltered video.